Hello friends! Today we're going to read a book about two very different friends who see the world in different ways. Let's see what happens in Simply Thankful by Claire Fennell and Rosie Greening. In an orange tinted forest where sun lit up each tree, there lived a pair of friends as unalike as friends can be. Joyful saw the sunny side and loved to try things out but Thankful always found a cloud to grumble groan about. One day Joyful smiled and said, Let's walk out in the sun. Thankful sighed. A sunny walk was not his kind of fun. Come on, Grumps, said Joyful, and she hop, skip, jumped ahead. Thankful trudged behind her, thinking longingly of bed. Soon they heard some bear cubs who were singing campfire songs. Thankful moaned, but Joyful grinned and loudly sang along. Then they passed a hedgehog group who shouted, Come and play! Joyful rushed to join the game while Thankful snuck away. Why is Joyful happy? muttered Thankful with a frown. The days are getting colder and the leaves are turning brown. Thankful was so busy being such a groany grump that he didn't see the hole until he fell in with a <gasps> thump. Typical, thought Thankful. He gave a mighty shout. But nobody could hear him, and he couldn't climb back out. Minutes and then hours passed as he sat on his own. Thankful thought, I'm stuck in here. I'm totally alone. I miss Joyful, Thankful said as he began to cry. She always sees the best of things, but I don't even try. Everyone I saw today invited me to play. That might have made me happy, but I chose to walk away. As Thankful sat there crying, something happened down below. His tears fell on some seedlings, which began to grow and grow. Soon the shoots were sturdy vines that wound up to the sun, and when they burst with flowers, Thankful smiled at what he'd done. He climbed the vines up from the hole and stared out in surprise. His time down in the darkness made him see with different eyes. The leaves all shone with color. There was laughter everywhere. The smell of roasting chestnuts and marshmallows filled the air. The more he looked, the more he saw that he felt thankful for. How could he have turned away from all of this before? At last, Thankful found his friend and hugged her in delight. He said, I found the sunny side, and I think that you were right. Joyful smiled and told her friend, even when we're sad, there's so much to be thankful for, and that should make us glad. So from that day forward, Thankful lived up to his name, and he knew, now he was thankful, life would never be the same. Sometimes something hard makes us see things in a different way, and we realize how grateful or thankful we are to have what we do have. If you like this story and you want to hear another one, subscribe to this channel, read it again, Miss Jen, and I will see you soon.